free money, and according to a new study, many New Mexicans aren't dipping in. We're talking about student grants. Yeah, a study from an online financial research group reveals more than half of high school grads in New Mexico did not submit financial aid applications. Thousands would have qualified. News 13's Catherine Mazzone is here with the details. Good morning, Catherine. That's right, Crystal. 53% of students amounts to around 10,000 students. An average Pell Grant is about $3,500. That means New Mexico graduates missed out on $20 million, give or take. UNM officials say they know one reason why. People sometimes will be like, oh, I wouldn't qualify. They don't know until they do it. And the way I look at it, it's a free application. Go ahead, fill it out, see what happens. Brian Malone, UNM's financial aid director, says he thinks many students don't fill out the financial aid form because they assume they won't qualify. He says some students also think the process is complicated. The study suggests another reason parents think their incomes won't qualify their student. The study also points to incomplete applications or errors on the application itself. But UNM officials say the study doesn't reflect what goes on there. They say they actually see more FAFSA applications submitted than those who even attend the university. Officials credit more readily available information at high schools and widespread education from UNM, including workshops and reminders to students to submit their forms. It should only come down to a choice of not filling it out, more so than an inability to do so. Because it's really the study shows more than half, 5,000 students who didn't submit their FAFSA forms would have qualified for aid. Back to you. All right, thanks, Catherine. Now, experts say filling out FAFSA is now online and a whole lot easier, but you still must be prepared to answer detailed financial questions that does include tax information.